And now I'm home. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> first of all, I just wanted to say, don't leave me <laughs> your stoned comments on this video. I know my eyes are ridiculous. Um, they're really red. Uh, I fell asleep in the car <laughs> and um, I just woke up, not just, just now, but um, like an hour or so before I got home. I just went to LA and then Joshua Tree, uh, California for a concert and then two days of a yoga music retreat called Shakti Fest, um, which explains the bindi. Um, I did change my shirt and redo my makeup because I drooled all over myself. <laughs> um, we were doing kundalini yoga today. Uh, it was our last, I think our last class. And um, then we were going to go eat and enjoy some curtain music. And anyway, Kundalini is basically like controlled breath and like small movements that alter things and sometimes alter your states of consciousness. So the what we were practicing today was liver cleansing through controlled breath and in like some Asian medicines they like look at your tongue to see what's wrong with your liver or other organs um so it's believed that the tongue and the liver are con connected so um we stuck our tongues out for 22 minutes um yeah whilst also doing this you've got to sort of stretch your shoulders together and push your arms down, like your shoulder or um, your elbows down. So anyways, yeah, I had to put on a different shirt and redo some of my makeup. Um, and also before I get like cultural appropriation comments um, for the bindi, I was given this bindi um, today by a woman and she basically like stuck it on me and said namaste and um I don't know I'm not wearing it religiously I'm wearing it like out of reverence I guess for the for the religion but more of a fashion choice similarly to how Crosses are worn in fashion, just like like the Om symbol, or like I don't know if you guys have seen like in LA and stuff, or on the internet, <laughs> like me, uh, like Arabic writing as like a print, or like in hoop earrings and things like that just purely for fashion, um, so, anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna get started, I have kind of a lot of things to show you, um, I think you guys are gonna get a ton of tingles when I do, uh, the chant I'm gonna do, so, I've got that, and then I also read some of the like small little um, 
explanations of the classes that we went to, some of them. And also I got some really fun mail, so I'm going to open it. And I've got this massive bundle of sage that I may or may not burn for you. I'll just do that right now. I'll just cleanse the space, you know. Um, so I'm actually going to light it with my truly matches it's an incense match and here's the sage so okay hopefully this works and hopefully I don't burn my fake nails I didn't mean to blow it out. I um, was trying to make it flicker, but what can you do? It smells delicious. I'm gonna put it in my incense tray. And let's just light this with a uh, lighter. <laughs> My cats are looking over here. <laughs> I'm crazy. I think I'm going to snuff it off on the back of my Shakti Fest festival guide. Oh, I also um, have a thick piece of mail. And I'm going to be doing that wub 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 sound um, later because it's like one of my favorite sounds. Okay. So we did this, and I was sweating, but it was so fun. Sarah Ivanhoe, green yoga and lotus flow are practices focused on remembering that you and the planet are one. We will learn the beginnings of elemental purification as a practice of remembering that all the elements that make up our planet exist within ourselves. We'll begin as a rigorous asana practice, then move into hip openers, lotus preparations, and extended lotus flower meditation. I can do a half lotus, but 
<sighs> Not a full one. We wanted to do um, Kia Miller's Kundalini this morning. It was Vinyasa, Kriya, Pranayama, and Meditation uh, as well. But um, I had to go to Walmart and buy a mat. So. And then this was the Kundalini we did where we jolted ourselves to cleanse our liver. <laughs> Um, Harminder Sin Kalsa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, learn techniques for altering our energy so we can experience the clarity necessary to truly trust our own self. Complete your Shakti Fest experience with this rare set of Kundalini Yoga and meditation as taught by Yogi Bhajan and live music by Sir N. Kaur. My cat is like going crazy in the blinds. And then we also did yoga meets astrology, but we left because it wasn't very good. Oh, and my favorite one was Laura Amazon, The Powers of the Yoginis. Yogini is a Sanskrit term for a female practitioner of the tantric and yogic arts. Asana, meditation, chanting, ritual, creative ex expression, death, sex, and birth, thresholds of consciousness, astrology, and the energies of the chakras are all mysteries the yoginis navigate. In this workshop, we will explore the powers and practices of the medieval and temporary yoginis, open to women and men who wish to deepen their understanding of female consciousness within themselves and in the women they love. I wish I brought a notebook for that. Oh, speaking of which, I've got, <laughs> uh, we stayed in Koreatown after the concert, which was amazing, by the way. We saw Iggy Azalea again, and oh my golly, she knows how to put on a show. She is great live, just the same as how she sounds on any of her tracks online. Buddy, stop making sounds. Okay, sorry. He's just really rowdy right now. They miss me. <laughs> I already played with him for like 30 minutes, bro. Buddy, stop. Okay. Actually, I think I'll do the chant at the end so you guys can fall asleep. So I'll be jumping around. But if you like crinkly sounds and if you like show and tell, then this next part is for you. And then after that, I'm gonna open my mail and then chant. So we stayed in Koreatown and went to Chinatown the next morning which was yesterday morning, Saturday morning, and then we, I don't know, just shopped and we went to Shakti Fest and caught a couple classes, saw a couple shows, ate some food, <laughs> and then we went back to the hotel in Joshua Tree and slept and got up this morning and did it all again. <laughs> Okay, so I got some real, real, really adorable notebooks.
<laughs> I got some fun little big hoops for a dollar in Chinatown. If you guys know me, you know I love gold and big hoops. <laughs> and then I also got some of those um Well, it says seven color crystal ball, but that's not what it is. Oh my god, this is hilarious. I love bad Chinese translations. Um, I don't know if you can read this. Product use information. One, add water 400 G on the product. About four hours it will grow up. Two, one clear beauty satiety face will grow up. Three, when the flower want to oxygen and nutrition, I will help you too much. <laughs> it's um, those water gems. So you put water on them and they'll grow to be like the size of like a tiny grape, I guess. And then you put it in a vase and put flowers in it. It absorbs water. It looks cool. I don't know. They were like 50 cents each. I got some cute Rilakkuma stickers. It's like my favorite character. Cute. I got a cute headband. Did a flower just come off? Whatever. I don't think it did. Okay. Oh my gosh. You guys know I love fake eyelashes. I'm obviously not wearing any now, but I was earlier. <laughs> I took them off because they were making my eyes hurt. So I got these, which are crazy cool. And these, which are cute. So my video just cut out, so I'm gonna have to speed this up. But the last thing I got from Chinatown is this little fox. And he goes in your phone, in the earphone jack. He also conveniently looks like a toy. <laughs> so I played with Mel for like a half hour. Right when I got him. So cute.
Yay. My Frank scrub. It says, Hey babe, I'm Frank Coffee Scrub, packed with 200 grams of tough love. Tear my top off. If you do something for me, dot dot dot, I'll do something for you. Like scrub away dry flaky skin with my roasted and ground robust coffee blend, leaving you feeling soft and smooth. I'll cleanse and clarify with brown sugar and sea salt. Then I'll soothe moisturize and tone with cold pressed almond oil. I love every inch of your pod because that's just the kind of guy I am. And then after the, if you do something for me, dot dot dot, it says, get naked and get in the shower. Get dirty with two small handfuls of coffee scrub. Get rough with circular massage motions, taking care to concentrate on problem areas. For best results, leave scrub to dry for five to ten minutes. Get clean with a rinse. Oily combination skin should use a light body wash to remove excess oil. Watch out, babe. Patch test first. Keep me out of your eyes. If I do get in there, rinse thoroughly. If irritation occurs, stop using me and seek medical help. And please, babe, don't eat me. I'm made in Melbourne, Australia. I'm vegan, and I only test on babes. Store me in a cool, dry place with my fly done up. So it's cut out again. Sorry about that. Um, I opened my Vita Kush package and it was this ring. Like, you can see the closure and everything. All right. <laughs> it also came with some postcards.
going back to the beginning. So, um, it is the next day. I've just woken up, so... I wanted to finish this video. Also do some... of these sounds and do the chant for you guys. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it correctly, so just um, know that. <laughs> for my birthday, which is next month. Oh, and I did notice that one of these little guys had popped off of, um, my headband last night, <laughs> so I found it and I'm just going to glue it back on, probably with some nail glue because I have that. <laughs> I really hope you guys can't hear that um, dog barking. Anyways, this is the Gayatra Mantra, which um, loosely translates to we meditate upon the radiant divine light of that adorable sun of spiritual consciousness may it awaken and illuminate our minds which um, I interpret as like we meditate upon like we're trying to find clarity about um, the radiant divine light of that adorable sun of spiritual consciousness so The spiritual consciousness is like the divinity within yourself, like your most awake, most clear spirit, self. Um, may it awaken and illuminate our minds. I think that's pretty clear. So, anyways, it's, um, you're supposed to begin the practice by chanting the Guru Mantra, which, um, basically connects you to different gurus that you're going to be asking or meditating upon for help, so. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat, Parabrahmam, Tasmai Shri, Guru Ve Namaha. Um, I'm going to do each of these three times. Om Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat, Parabrahmam. Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Sakshat Parabrahman Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha uh, And then the Gayatra Mantra Om Burbhuvu Subaha Tat Savitu Varanyam Argo Devasya Demahi Dio Yo Na Prachodaya Om Buru Bhuva Subaha Tat Sabitur Varanyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yo Na Prachodaya Om Buru Bhuva Subaha Tat Sabitur Varanyam Bargo Devasya Dimahi Dio yo na pracho dea. So, I 
hope you enjoyed this incredibly PC video. Um, I just wanted to get it to you guys as quickly as I could. So, um, I'm gonna go to the gym. I don't really want to. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Or, Namaste.